yes, that is the time. That might shock you if you know me, that's a little bit early for me, but I'm going to go to Griswold Elementary and Middle and High Schools to check out their morning announcements. So yeah, thankfully I'm still on Australia time, which is like 5 p.m. the next day. So I uh, woke up with plenty of sleep and I should be good to go, hopefully. Nice and early. Hello, I am here in Griswold, Connecticut, and I'm here to talk to Kyle about how they use vMix in their school system here. So tell us a little bit about how you use vMix here at Griswold Elementary, Middle School, and High School. All right, as you just mentioned, we are a K through 12 district. We're on a single campus, all three buildings on one network. Each building has its own TV studio. Some are just a small classroom to a full blown studio room. And each one has a vMix setup and starting at the elementary school, it's the vMix single camera. They do have a green screen, so they're doing virtual sets. They use on-camera audio. The middle school is a lot more elaborate. They have two cameras. They have teleprompters, separate mics. They do tons of different transitions and graphics and B-roll video during their show. Then the high school has been converted from a analog studio that they've used for 25 years. We've added in vMix, digital cameras, bringing in wireless mics and trying to get as much done in the digital world as possible. Then after that, I, I run an after school program, which is community service hours for students that we stream all of our uh, in-house sports. We do home games. We do both in the gymnasium for currently volleyball. Winter will be basketball and wrestling. We have a brand new multi-sport field complex, which we have our football games on, soccer, lacrosse, track and field and we film all those from the press box. We also do our softball and baseball in the spring from there, those press boxes. All are not wire connected. We have to set up a temporary wireless bridge to get our internet, but so far, knock on wood, we haven't had too many problems. I was showing Tim this morning on the football field, there is a line of sight problem where someone parks too big of a truck, we lose our internet. So that's happened in a couple games in the past. Um, I also am a coach for our esports team, and we're budding having shoutcasters learning to stream and showcase that part of our, our sports here at Grizzled. Yeah, I actually spent time this morning here. I got up really early. I don't know, I should probably include that in the video because people won't believe that I was up before 7 a.m. But I was here and I got to witness the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school do their morning announcements every morning uh, this morning. And it was really cool to be able to see how each setup works and then how each of the sort of team works with the, the teacher to get those out every morning. It was really cool. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm kind of going to transport us to the different studios that they have and talk about the different setups at um, the different locations here. So let's go. Let's go. All right. So where are we now? We are currently standing behind the control desk of our middle school um, production studio. This is where they do their morning announcements from. We have our vMix PC set up, X keys controllers. Our students kind of tend to use the keyboard and mouse more, but they have that set up. On a separate monitor and keyboard, we still connect to the vMix machine. Our audio chief goes there and he can control the microphones in the system. Coming around the room to where our talent desk is, you can see we have confidence monitor, which is our third output from the vMix machine, so the talent at the desk can see what they're on. We have our camera, which we connect via a bird dog mini NDI. I like using NDI for my connections because I am the network manager here, so I'm comfortable with networking. So that works out perfectly for us. Two wired mics at the desk. The talent talks and gives their news reports, and they swap out for sports and weather. Everything's green screen. They use virtual sets within vMix. How old are the middle school kids that do this? Th this is grade five through eight, so somewhere around 10 to 14 range, depending on, and they they cycle through. Most, most of the actual workers are the seventh and eighth graders, so they're like 12 to 14 range. And like I know the main vMix controller kid is a seventh grader this year, and he's been doing it for two years. and probably knows the software better than I do. And me too. I watched him this morning and he does a really good job. And he may basically does most of the production and the teacher just kind of observes. Yeah, while we're doing the live show, the teachers are in here just to observe and make sure anything doesn't go wrong. 
but the kids run it completely. The main teacher, she does a lot of the asset gathering and then works with the students to bring the assets in, load them into vMix and decide how they're going to use it. Like this one we're in here, they just quickly change a virtual set for their sports background and they did it on the fly two minutes before the show started. All right, so we've taken it back a few years. We're now in the elementary school. Take it away. All right, this is their studio. It's a, actually an old office space. It's a smaller room. They do a single camera, use the onboard audio from that. We have our desk for our two announcers, green screen to do a virtual set. They've actually added on a second green wall for doing when they have guests come in. They, they swap to a different virtual set as they're going between them. They are running vMix on a slightly older machine, still an i5, still is working fine for us. Um, I do have the plans to upgrade them in the future. Like I said, small studio, they're, they're fourth graders that do this, so that's a nine, I think all of them were nine years old today. Two announcers, generally a cameraman, and the one kid running vMix and, and one faculty advisor. Is that NDI, this camera as well? This camera is not, it is coming in to a capture card. Uh, in the PC. Yeah, so I watched them this morning and there was a nine-year-old running the production, which was crazy. Just turned nine, like two weeks ago, so it was it was interesting. We have all of the rundown here, everything that they need to do, and um, yeah. Again, some of these kids seem to understand it better than I do, and I've been using it for seven years now. <laughs> That's right. I've been using it almost as long as they've been alive, and they do better. All right, so let's head to the high school now, I suppose. All righty. Maybe we'll take a quick detour to the football field on the way there. All right, so here, where are we? We're currently standing in front of the brand new Wolverine multifunction, multi-sport field where we do football, soccer, lacrosse. And when we film, stream football games, we're in the press box. We usually have one camera on top. Our two commentators are in the press box along with me switching the cameras. And we at least have a wireless camera down the field level. Sometimes we put cameras at each side of the stands for shots at those end of the fields. Um, usually two commentators, they switch in and out. And usually stream out to YouTube. We stream to YouTube. We have our YouTube channel, Crystal Sports Network, and we stream to, to that. Um, we have currently about 1,300 subscribers, hopefully growing that up. Nice. Our goal is 1,500 for this year. Okay. So if cool. you like it, subscribe. Awesome. Hi, my name's Tim Moore, and I am the coordinator, the faculty coordinator for the morning announcements at Gristle High School. We've been running these since 1993. And uh, we've had a few different studios over the time. We've been in this studio since 1996. And originally it was all analog. Everything was hardwired. And uh, we even started out with Super VHS as the medium in which we were recording things on. Totally uh, student run. The students do everything. Uh, they even manage each other. They instruct each other. And uh, we put on a daily morning show of the morning announcements. And even we have sometimes guests such as around Veterans Day, veterans come in to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, we also have the principal come down with a weekly message. We've been doing that for quite a while now. But uh, the, the students seem to have a good time with it, and it's nice to allow them to, to run something and to totally drive it themselves. This room is an English classroom and a TV studio, a multi-purpose room in the sort, but it works out well. We're able to move people, uh, desks, chairs, to make it work for us. In 2016, we moved into the digital world. We have our vMix computer running the main switching the show, wireless mics coming into a soundboard that we're bringing in through a Behring, Behringer into the computer, two cameras on, on set, um, teleprompters that they use for their main anchor, we have a green screen for the weather, and everything is brought in, transitioned, streamed out of vMix to our local video server in-house. And then every classroom watches it every morning. All right, now finally, we are currently in the Griswold gym, and uh, it might be a little bit noisy, but Kyle's gonna show us his live streaming setup for his volleyball. Okay, good afternoon, as Tim said, we're in our gymnasium for volleyball, currently a JV game going on. We are set up for the, for the game tonight. We are streaming from our vMix laptop. 
We have available to us tonight five cameras. We have our main center camera that will be operated by one of our students. And just in case I have a um, PTZ Optics webcam and their um, PTZ Optics camera that's currently doing a scoreboard cam right now, I have another webcam on our commentators and I have a hand, handheld shoulder cam that will be on the floor during, during the match. Um, I am set up that I can have a crew of anywhere from six kids all the way down to zero. If I have to, I can, I've got our PTZ Optics joystick controller that I can use the up top camera as the main camera. We use the next keys to update score and switch cameras. And if we, when we have our commentators, we, we use a Glen Sound commentator box. It, it works great. The kids love it. They have a cough button so they can mute themselves as needed. That's it for the majority of our setup. And check us out on YouTube. Our channel is Grizzled Sports Network. All right, so we're going to finish up our trip here in the Nexus, which is their esports gaming room where they have 21 gaming computers. So they teach things like Gaming Concepts, which is about the esports ecosystem. We teach animation, cybersecurity, programming coding classes, high end graphics, and starting next semester, video production. I just want to say thanks to Griswold Elementary, Middle, and High School for letting me take a look around, all the teachers, and a big shout out to the kids that were really awesome at all the productions that they were doing here, their morning announcements, doing a much better job than I'm sure I could. Uh, big thanks to Kyle for showing me around. It was great to be able to check out how the school uses vMix. So is there anything else that you would like to share with us before we go? I just want to say again, thank you for coming by and highlighting us. We appreciate it. We are kind of proud of what we do here. We're building a program and getting better each year, adding to it. And we actually had some kids that have gone on to college for sports broadcasting and for looking at esports as a potential college route. So we're proud of what we do here. Awesome. So thanks again. And um, thanks for watching. And we will stream you later.